we mentioned earlier in the newscast, the Valley braces for the loss of a major retailer. Gotchalks will soon begin liquidation. But now the question is, what will happen to all the empty buildings? Ken joins us live once again from Manchester Center. You've been working on this one all day, Ken. What have you found out? Well, you know, a mixed answer to the question, what's next, Zara? I mean, after the, the going out of business sale is over, after unfortunately close to 5,000 people lose their jobs, uh, Gottschalk's is going to be left with uh, approximately 58 empty department stores. Uh, joining us now live is Case Lawrence. He is the CEO of Cargo Bay in Clovis. Thanks for joining us. You're a developer. And uh, let's just start off. Uh, you're familiar with this sort of stuff. How hard is it going to be to find uh, a tenant to come in and take over some of these big box stores? Ken, it's, it's going to be difficult. Uh, the retail sector in general is, is not looking to expand right now as a rule. Uh, the, the retail uh, players who are doing well, the Walmarts and the Targets, it's pretty central to their model that they don't go into secondhand space. They like to build their space from scratch. And you see that there are over 300 Walmarts empty in America right now. So that Walmart has moved in two blocks down the street into a super Walmart. Right. So, so the prospects are, 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 are rough. And that's a problem across America for, for planners and redevelopment. A lot of people are thinking, Case, well, why, why couldn't somebody like Macy's or Nordstrom's? I mean, how likely is something like that that these, these companies are going to come in? They're under the same pressures that Gottschalks has had to deal with here. Uh, that we've all been following and and so they're all trying to survive and hang on not really looking to expand unfortunately there is an alternative and that's why we have you out here case uh, you are working on a, on a program out in st louis where you take big box stores basically and compartmentalize them and get small business owners in there how's that working? that's right we're opening a store next month in st louis it's a kmart that was shut for four years and we're converting that into a cargo bay basically turning it into a business incubator it's a pretty interesting experiment. If we're successful, it'll, it'll have a big impact across the country. And Cargo Bay is like a small business store, basically, for entrepreneurs. That's right. We, we provide workspace, smart workspace for small business, storage, office space, the, the whole gamut. Uh, maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves, but how likely is it that one of these Gottschalk stores might uh, be part of that experiment? You know, we'd certainly look at it, and, and there, may, there may very well be an opportunity to do something like that. But it, the point is, it's going to take some creativity and some creative uses to come in and fill these spaces. They're big spaces, and there aren't a lot of obvious answers about what would backfill it. All right. Case Lawrence, the CEO of Cargo Bay. Appreciate your insights tonight. Thanks, Thanks Case. Case. Uh, so there you have it. There are no real uh, clear-cut answers. Uh, even in its demise, the future of Gottschalk's buildings is still up in the air. All right, Ken, thank you very much. We'll, of course, have more on the closing of Gottschalk's tonight on CBS 47 at 11. for small.